out of Sydney and we've just arrived on the traditional lands of the Rudri Nation and we're really lucky to have been invited to stay at Kestrel Nest which is an eco hut that's surrounded by a huge amount of critically endangered habitat and this kind of place is so important to us because unfortunately Australia has one of the highest rates of biodiversity loss in the world. Since European settlement 95% of this woodland has actually been cleared for things like grazing and crops but it's now all a protected area and it's amazing to see the positive steps that are being taken to conserve it. They're doing things like planting vegetation corridors, practicing small scale regenerative farming and rehabilitating areas of native habitat. The hut is completely surrounded by nature. It was actually amazing when we drove in to see just how big it is. And even inside, it feels so open because of the huge windows and things like a beautiful outdoor bath. And all of the walking trails from the property lead through woodlands and down to the creeks. So we're feeling really lucky to have a few days here to just slow down and take it all in. Yesterday when the sun set, it was still pretty cloudy outside, but after we had dinner, we looked out the window and suddenly everything had cleared up and we were really lucky to both see a shooting star at the same time. So we grabbed the camera and rushed out to try and take some photos. And even though it's still a little bit cloudy, it was so far from everything that we saw the brightest Milky Way over the hut. We're going to make some breakfast with some food that they've left out from the farm. We've got things like sourdough bread, eggs and bacon, and then we'll probably hike to some of the nature reserves. Our first stop today is Yarrungobbly Caves, which are formed out of limestone and home to the Wongali people. And it's so peaceful here. Basically all you can hear is small birds flying around and the sound of water dripping off the rock. Yesterday we came across something that we really resonated with, Yinjimara. It's a Radri word and a way of life, which goes to gentleness, kindness, and mutual respect. Not just receiving, but giving too. It's learning to move slowly and with care. We really wanted to leave something small here, so I'm starting a drawing. And we picked out a picture of the kestrel because we found out that it was the only bird that the owners saw on the property for weeks after the 2019 to 2020 bushfires tore through the area. The fires were so catastrophic and they were honestly quite a big turning point for both of us as well. We were feeling pretty disillusioned by what we were putting our time towards. And I couldn't really justify spending more nights eating dinner at my desk when I was working on something that wasn't really contributing to the bigger picture. I'm just really happy that we managed to start photography and that I found my way into things like renewable energy and climate action and even just photography itself has given us so many more avenues to have conversations about things like climate change, biodiversity and conservation. And while we've been here, we've been thinking that it's all a huge process of learning, which we don't really have a clear end point for. But we've definitely found that the best things come from slowing down, taking the pace of nature, and 
really just trusting that things will grow where they find space. <laughs>